Field recorders can be used to get audio on many projects. Two guests recording a podcast, placing two lavaliers on the bride and groom at a wedding, or how about a lav and a boom mic for an interview? You'll probably be syncing that audio with a camera, maybe an even bigger camera like this DSLR. With all of these situations, when you get into post-production, are you setting up your media effectively? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to properly isolate the left and right channels from a field recorder, sync those files to your camera audio, and then link both the audio and video clips within Premiere Pro. What is up, Merce Nation? Javier Mercedes here, and if you are into video tech tutorials, you will not be distraught by hitting that subscribe and notification bell. Let's get right into it. In this example, I'm gonna be using three sound sources, myself, my friend Joe, and the camera audio. Both Joe and myself are gonna be using lavalier or wireless microphones. The camera audio will come from a boom mic that's plugged in and placed on top of the camera. Both of our wireless mics are going to be going into channels one and two of the field recorder. This will record a stereo file with my audio on the left and Joe's on the right. The challenge then is to isolate and split that stereo track so we can manipulate both mine and Joe's audio without affecting the other. Here inside Premiere, I'm gonna load in my footage from my camera and the field recorder. Drag your video file from the project bin onto the new item logo. This will create a sequence with the exact same settings as that video file. One pro tip for while you're recording, if you don't have a clapper, say what take it is and have somebody clap on camera at the beginning of the take. Recorded started, this is take two. Can you just give me a clap? Cool. This will help with audio syncing and post-processing down the line. As described before, here's me and there's Joe. And then here's the wireless mics that we're wearing. That clap on camera is a distinguishable attack transient between all sources, even the camera itself. So when you clap, you're going to see an attack transient, this big peak wave on all sound sources, the boom microphone and our lav mics. Since I said take two on camera, I'm gonna check this file first. Two, can you just give me a clap? And it turns out I'm right. From the source window, click this audio waveform logo and drag it onto the timeline. Make sure all the boxes over here and the clips that you want to sync are highlighted. Right click, hit synchronize, and with audio selected, hit OK. Before we move on, if you highlighted all the clips and right clicked and synchronized wasn't an option, that's because one of your clips was on the same track. In order to use Synchronize inside Premiere, all of the clips that you want to synchronize have to get their own separate tracks. Let's go ahead and check it. And it looks like everything's in sync. Now let's duplicate the field recorder track. I'm on a Mac, so you can highlight the clip, hold Option, drag down, and that will duplicate the clip on the track beneath it. I'm gonna rename the top track to Javier and the bottom track to Joe. Right click the top track and hit audio channels. In this window, we're telling Premiere Pro which source we want the clip to look at for each channel. Since this is the Javier track, I want the right channel to mimic what's on the left channel. Click OK, and now only the Javier audio is on the Javier track. Let's move on and do the same for Joe's track. Right click, audio channels, now clip one should only reference the right side. Click OK. We have successfully isolated both mine and Joe's audio on separate tracks. Now I'm gonna rename the top audio track to Boom. I'm gonna cut off the ends and beginnings of the audio waveforms so the in and out points are the same throughout the Boom and R2 lobs. Now take the top audio and video track and unlink them from each other. Highlight all the stereo clips, right click and hit link. There's a second way to do this, and it may or may not be more beneficial for you to do it this way. Before you even pull the clips onto the timeline, highlight the audio, right click, and hit duplicate. Right click one of the audio files, modify, audio channels. You can keep it in stereo, or I'm gonna switch it to mono. Have it read from the left, and here it's telling me that the source file is already being used on the timeline, which is okay, because I'm just going to be doing this in the project bin. Now do the same thing to the other file, except we're going to do the right side. Now I'm gonna rename the one that was the left, Javier, and the one that was the right, Joe. Drag those clips on. Now we have both lavs in mono instead of stereo on separate tracks isolated. I'm gonna follow the same audio sync procedure that I did earlier and check it. Cool. There's one caveat where I think doing the technique this way falls short. And that's because for some reason, Premiere Pro does not allow you to link both mono and stereo files to a video clip. It will only allow you to link all stereo files or all mono files. You can't have a hybrid of some mono and stereo files being linked to one video clip. 
If you want to convert everything to stereo like we did before and link it, you can, or you have to change your boom microphone that's already in stereo to a mono track. I think the first way is the better way of doing it. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing it with a friend. And I'm on Patreon as well if you want to support me that way. Thank you for watching this video all the way through and leave me a comment down below if there's anything that I can do to improve my videos. Live a life of abundance and I'll see you guys on the next one.